What the heck? Hey, it's Faye. Welcome back to my channel. I just woke up. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. The black hen magic. Get it? <laughs> what were you thinking? Hmm. Guess who is sitting here waiting to see the blackheads pour out of my nose? Cookie! <laughs> don't even talk about Don't even break it up. I don't want to hear it. It doesn't exist in my mind. You know, Cook the Hook will always be single, ready to mingle. Any hoosie. So it's been a while since I've done a blackhead video. And oh my god! Oh my god, hold on. I don't forget. A model? Model! He's here, guys. He's here. A model is back in action. <laughs> My baby. BTS went on rest. Same thing with the model. He went on rest. Revival model. Check. Why am I so short? Got it. It's time I need to cleanse a little, but I don't want to do a strip today because you shouldn't do it so much so often. As my little hands was reaching around doing the squiggle squiggle in the drawer drawer, I found this baby and it's been sitting in my drawer for so long because I wanted to do a review on it and then it's finally time I'm not talking too much. I know, I know. Some people are like, why are you talking so much in your, in your intros? Well, Linda, guess you don't know us. We talk. Here it is. This is the Innisfree. I don't even know. Judge a Volcano Blackhead Out Bomb. I actually don't know how effective this is. It's just a balm where you kind of rub on your nose for like three to five minutes or something and then you rinse it out. And you're supposed to see a huge difference and <laughs> I'm all for that. I'm all about glow ups and my nose needs a glow up today. So we're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna go into the science lab, check out what's going on up in here. Let's do this. Here I am. Okay, fire or flight mode on. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, I already see something. I'm <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, all right. So that is the side of my nose. I mean, it's not too gross. It's just, there's a lot of sebum, you know? Sebaceous filaments. Oh, jeez. This is why I don't tell boys to come on my channel. They'll probably never want to see me again. Okay, the side of my nose is where the fun really isn't at. But today, we're, we're seeing a little bit of fun. Okay, now we're towards the tip of my nose. And this is where the true beginning begins. Oh. I mean, oh, ooh, that one is just ready to pop off. Yikes. Ooh, that's what gets me. Colonies. The collective colonies. Ooh, that one is just so prestige. Royal. Oh my, oh, you're kidding me. Ooh, look at it just relaxing in its pool of oil. Oh my god. Look at that deep seated whatever you want to call it. Monster! God, you're the babies! Aww. They're babies! Ew, ew, ew. I'm done. Why do I put myself through this? Just imagine that living on you. I just want to say a lot of disgusting things in my life and I'm just like not for it. <laughs> it's time we have an intervention. Sorry, I love Innisfree. I don't know why I get so aggressive for no reason. As you can tell in my previous video, I can't control my emotions anymore. I have no self-control. This is the product. Very Innisfree-like, especially the Volcanic line. And when you open it, it looks just like... Oh, <laughs> well, not like that. It's just a bomb. So it looks like a tow truck just ran over a pile of Vaseline. And that's what you're gonna get. So nothing really interesting. It literally feels like chapstick. No? It feels. So here is the shipwreck, and you're seeing it lime and clear. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right on my nose. But before we spread it, I'm gonna get an even amount. So maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Rub it around for three to five minutes. That's a long time. It's all right. Kind of reminds me of just like a normal like oil balm makeup remover. The Vanilla Cold Zero. Clean it, whatever. Beauty cream. So as we're spreading this, um, and you're kind of like stopping the circulation of your breathing, we're just gonna keep rubbing it in and just hope that life gives us a clearer vision through our pores. <laughs> we literally have a couple minutes left. Like, I mean, I guess. At this point, I'm rubbing with my nails. 
scratching the surface of my nose. I'm feeling like little, ew, like little secretion bumps, <laughs> grains coming out of my nose, basically. It's like sand. That's kind of cool. My hands are like. <laughs> Okay, it's literally been like five plus minutes, so I think we're good. And now you just want to rinse it. Um, bye, bye, bye. Ew! I just ate it! I took a shower in the sink again. I was trying my best to just rinse my nose and then just decided to wash my whole face! <laughs> Sorry, I'm dripping. If you know me, I don't like to use a towel. <laughs> Not even to pat. I avoid all friction at all costs. So I'm just gonna let this air dry real fast. Now I'll be back. <laughs> See? All you have to do is just work out a bit. I'm so athletic. <laughs> okay, now that my face dried naturally, great. Yeah, let's look at the nose. Hold on, let me catch my breath. I can't breathe. But yeah, so this is my nose. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh, by the way, when you're rinsing it with water, it comes off pretty milky. So I do recommend to use like a little bit of a face wash, you know, to like cleanse off the oil, I guess. It's like an oil to milk formula. Um, Alright, okay. Okay, so I'm not seeing, okay, all right. I still see my sebaceous filaments. They're still there, but they're not thriving. It's almost like you took away someone's crown. They're not too cocky right now. They're not trying to show off as much. It's like they're shy now. They're suddenly shy. I don't know how much I believe the whole sebum thing. I just washed my face technically, so of course the oils are gonna be kind of like gone. Am I convinced? I don't know, man. Ooh, is that a hole? Ooh. 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 Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay. I think we should address this first. We both know that we didn't see direct specific blackheads on my nose during the before. That leads me to not being able to thoroughly compare the two before and after. But what I could compare on is the sebaceous filaments and the oil secretion. Now, of course, I just washed my nose. So the oil secretion definitely improved. I don't know if that was just by washing or the actual balm. In terms of pores, they look the same. Nothing like it didn't shrink or anything, you know? But I will say the secretion within the pores do look a little bit less oily and less productive like there's less activity I can't conclude what I'm gonna do is let my oils just kind of settle back in and we'll talk <laughs> It's been about 30 minutes and my nose feels back to normal. It doesn't have that like stripping feeling, I guess. Okay, see what I mean? The oils are back. You know, we're back in production. I don't even know if this looks any cleaner. Is there a difference? It's hard to pinpoint. Oh, that looks like pork belly. Ah, I cracked myself up. Funny. I don't know. In terms of visibility, they look exactly the same. Oh, who are you? You were not invited to our party. Like, hello, you can go. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of cleaner here. Ooh, yikes. Oh my god, we need to call the police right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, what? Okay, I made my conclusion. I'm not sure. Okay, so sometimes it's not all about what you see. It's about how you feel deep down if we just break down the walls. I feel like my nose is projecting a more subtle feeling. Less bumpy. It does feel soft. It feels like makeup can apply well. And I don't have the temptation to, you know scratch off, you know, little nubs due to, you know, build up. However, looking at the microscope footage, I feel like there's not much of a difference. As my natural oils penetrate back out onto the surface of my skin, there's really no difference. Now, I'm not gonna bash this product because I do feel like the balm itself does go into the pores and almost machine washes some of that grainy texture that we feel on our nose once it becomes really rough and it's secreted and, um, 
you know, like hold it. Because I do know that the texture is very soft and there's no grains within the product, when I'm using it and rubbing it on my nose, I do feel grainy texture, like that sand feeling. And that does prove that the product is somewhat machine washing our pores and we are getting some kind of debris out, especially if you are piled up with trash. That's my case. Again, I'm not gonna totally say I don't like the product. However, in terms of visibility, I mean, I feel like my nose looks approachable. I do recommend this if you want something simple, quick, and non-violent <laughs> to your nose where you're not like yanking and pulling or tugging and you just want a simple step or just to ease your way into like pore products. I do highly recommend this. It's a good beginner pore product. However, if you're looking for something way more sturdy and way more effective, I don't think this is the best thing to go for. Oh my god, I'm like stretching my shirt. Yeah, I feel like that is it for my review. I hope you guys learned something new and I don't know, are tempted to clean your pores. I tend to do that, you know? <laughs> I know I've been doing like so much random videos, but I just feel like at this point in my YouTube career, whatever I feel like filming that day, I'm just gonna do it. If you're up for it, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Until next time, I'm Cindy Love. Bye!